<laughs> hey what's up hello it is green key weekend so we're going to go to the festivities and hope no one dies <laughs> Starting the day here at 2 p.m. outside on the green, just getting a little bit of work done and looking forward to a good night tonight. jump straight into the action. It's been a long time, but hey, what's up? Hello. Let's rewind a little bit, shall we? So Green Key is like the third main key event. I would say that Green Key is the most fun, interesting, and like involving one out of the three. I think homecoming was pretty fun, mostly because it was like towards the beginning of the year and as freshmen, you're kind of in the spotlight like immediately. And it was our first introduction to like what Dartmouth could be and its cultiness, I guess. And winter carnival was kind of just dreary and cold, but Green Key stepped it up to a new level. I'm not even a person who like particularly likes these loud party scenes or going to frats just because I'm I'm just so socially awkward there I just am not comfortable whatsoever in those situations and so I try to avoid them but even for people like me Green Key was still pretty fun as you ha see in the video like I would be honest and say that the concert the first main concert on Friday night was kind of a lot because most people were kind of out of it towards like the main act everything just kind of became a mosh pit and I actually left early I didn't actually go see the main act because it was just the pushing and shoving and like the sweatiness and like the beer everywhere was just a lot for me so I didn't do that but I still had a lot of fun it was like the spring and everything everyone was happy even if they were a little bit out of it or a lot out of it everyone was just having a good time and I think that energy really rubs off on everyone, regardless of if you're into the partying or not. And the free food. There was so much free food, and you gotta love anywhere that gives you free food. So since I uploaded my last college rewind, Hillary Clinton came to campus. And look, I'm like the last person to be involved in politics and I didn't understand the ins and outs of everything that she said, but from what I've heard, she was pretty savage. The biggest disappointment to me has been uh, the Republican Party. They've occasionally disagreed with uh, Trump on a few things, but overall they have been uh, unfortunately intimidated or willing to go along. But honestly, after that, everything kind of just took a turn. And the main reason for that 
is because I'm taking this introductory chemistry class this term, and that class basically stretched me to my breaking point. I think a lot of the intro classes, intro science classes, are weeders, so they try to make it so that a lot of people don't do very well, so it's not like an easy class at all. But I feel like DART in this chemistry just went on steroids, and I think I spent the last two weeks of the term doing nothing but chemistry all day, and I don't think I've ever understood a class that thoroughly. Which, you know, I'm kind of proud of myself for doing that, but then at the same time, I also ran like a 39 degree fever for a couple of days, so I was out of commission. Of course, there were some real happy times too, like continuing with the trend of going out and about in the spring term because it's pretty brilliant there. Uh, I actually went to pet some dogs. But like even in We went to trivia night with a bunch of my friends at a nearby restaurant. Let's go, trivia night. Make it, um, um, what do we want to be? We even played frisbee outside us, frisbee. And we just goofed off. A lot. It came in today. Yes. We've been waiting. When did you plan this? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> what does this even do? You put it in water and it will grow. Into a boyfriend. Yes. Yeah, this is the kind of boyfriend I need. Yes. We thought well, it would help make Jerry jealous. <laughs> also, I just want to take a moment to like just sum up this term. I would say that this term really started off really, really strong. I think it was the best start for all the terms that I had this year because fall term was like a huge transition period and you don't really get to enjoy it because you're trying so hard to transition into the college life. And then winter term was kind of just like cold and nobody really wanted to do anything. So spring term was really like rebirth. <laughs> so I went into town a lot more this term and I think that really gave me a burst of energy. Of course, that comes at a price. Like, the time that you don't spend in a library must be made up for because, especially with the introductory chemistry, you really can't slack on the studies. You can have fun, but you also have to know that you are having fun and that you're, you, ha you have things to make up for. I also felt that it was really different, like, especially towards the end, the vibe was just different because it's the last term of the academic year, at least for like most of the students. And so there's a lot of like wrapping up stuff that you have to take care of towards the end. And at one point I found myself having to deal with final exams and then picking classes for the next term and then ordering boxes off Amazon and then sorting out my storage options for the summer and then preparing for final exams again. And it was definitely a lot because towards the end everything is just panicky and adding that much stuff on top of it was just was just a lot of extra burden so it was definitely a huge learning curve learning curve but hey i survived so yeah that was my last term of my first year at dartmouth like always there was a lot of ups and downs and like always i'll see you next time